Hi folks, it's Nash from HighOnAndroid.com, where we get hot on Android every day. So today we're going to go ahead and show you my uh, DIY solar setup to power my tent here. This is all powered by uh, my solar DIY system, and also it powers all my outdoor lights. Um, I used to have a bunch of these you can buy at Target or your local hardware store for called bucks. Uh, but the problem with these, they're really flimsy. Um, they break, and also um, if you're not in direct sun every day, uh, the lights are not bright enough. And I have like an area of my house um, that's like between, uh, between my house and the neighbor's house. And the problem is uh, there's no sunlight there usually. Um, so the, these lights, they don't really you know, work that well or they're very, very dim. Um, another better way to do it is spend a little bit more money and get a battery, um, get a deep cycle battery uh, and also a solar panel and then uh, set up, uh, they have the, the low voltage 12 volt outdoor lights, um, which are, you know, basically 12 volts. Usually you'll hook it up to your house, uh, but if you have like a 12 volt, um, you know, solar system, then you can just hook it up to your batteries and uh, run off that. So let me show you how I'm doing it. So let's go do this. Hi hmm? right, folks, so check out my new solar panels. Uh, this is a 100 watt uh, solar panel. Um, these are my old crappy ones that used to power my, my LED rope lights. And this is the brand new one I just got. Kind of mounted it at 45 degree angle facing south. And then this is the line uh, that feeds from this solar panel um, to my solar charge controller. And it's actually very, very simple. Um, this is a 30 amp PWM solar charge controller, basically uh, you got two inputs, uh, plus and minus, from your solar panels, or just one. If you want to use more than one solar panel, um, you can connect the solar panels in parallel. Uh, if you want to keep it at 12 volts, if you want, you know, 24 volts, you can also, um, I think, do it in series, just like how batteries work. And then these two lines are plus minus for your battery, uh, or battery banks is uh, basically you can put a bunch of batteries in a parallel if you want more uh, power or even in series if you want higher voltage uh, basically I've got a marine uh, battery 500 amp hour battery um, basically hooked up there and also this solar charge controller uh, does have a load output where I put uh, my output to my lights um, this is actually a, a ethernet line I hooked up um, over here, I hooked up to a, just an AC switch. Um, that way I can turn, turn on a certain light. These are my rope lights, um, and these are my, uh, this is my outdoor uh, LED lights that I got it on Amazon. It's actually for like a car, uh, like a Jeep or something. And this actually goes into uh, my yard uh, low voltage lights, which also run 12 volts. Uh, it's a little DIY setup. I just reused um, these older switches that I switched out in my house uh, for dimmers and stuff. And that's actually about it. So you need a solar panel. Um, just get like, you know, a solar panel, solar charge controller. Uh, that's, you know, this is a 30 amp, um, which means you can put up to like maybe two, three, 100 watt solar panels. I just got one of them. And one of those is enough to charge um, this 500 amp hour battery in like a, a full sun of, you know, um, daylight, sunlight, I mean. And uh, b basically get a battery box um, or you can make your own. Um, this one actually has vent vents down here because, um, you know, when you're charging your battery, um, there's, uh, I think, hydrogen gas that comes out, which can be explosive. So basically, I've got this box covered up because I smoke in my tent. So there's no chance of me <laughs> exploding my tent here. Anyway, that's about it. And let me show you um, the lights actually working at night. Hi, right, folks. So I've got my solar controller. It's night here. Let me go ahead and turn on um, one of my lights here, the indoor lights. And you can see uh, my rope light. Um, lit up really nicely. This was actually a solar rope light I bought, um, but you can actually get a 12 volt rope light on Amazon for like 10 bucks for like a roll. 
and it is super bright as you can see here it lights up my whole tent here um, let me kind of explain a little bit um, this one actually does have a timer so you can set it like after sundown you can have it uh, um, turn on your lights automatically for you know three to three hours six hours whatever or also you can just set it on manual there and this is all powered by my solar uh, or my battery now and then we go ahead and turn off turn on some of my other lights here that is the floodlight um, auto floodlight and let me go ahead and turn on the outdoor lights and one of the main reasons I uh, install this is because um, I used to have a bunch of these crappy ones, the, the cheap solar lights you buy at uh, uh, Walmart or Target. Um, those things just, you know, they're pretty bright if you get great sun, but not that bright. Um, these are actually outdoor LED lights, about uh, 10 watts. And I've actually got it installed um, throughout my house here outside. And uh, let me go ahead and show you here. And before I used to have those, the cheap solar lights. Um, that's actually my neighbor's uh, infrared light too, but I wanted my own. But I've got them all here also. And also that's, it's powering on the, the front yard, which is really nice. And it's, you know, makes everything uh, pretty bright. And there you go. And that's my neighbor's infrared light and keeps everything lit pretty nicely here. Um, so that's why I really like it. Anyway, the total cost, I spent uh, about uh, 80 bucks for the marine battery, 30 bucks for the um, charge controller, and I spent about $150 on the 100 watt panel. Um, so that works out to be about 150 plus 30 is 180, plus 80 is about 260. Um, the rope lights were about 50 bucks, but if you get them without these small crappy solar panels, um, you can definitely get it for like 10 bucks uh, or maybe like 20 bucks for a set of two of these. Very bright. Anyway, I finally completed my solar project, my first solar project. Um, all of this lighting in my tent is bright uh, as you see right now, and also it is powering uh, my outdoor uh, low voltage lights, the 12 volt uh, lights you can buy at the Home Depot or your local home. Um, hardware store and also you know it it powers everything outside my house uh, which is really nice because you know now I don't have to have any wires coming out from my house um, and also it is all powered uh, by the Sun anyway I just wanted to share with you um, some of the DIY projects I've been working on uh, my next goal is um, actually turning my whole house um, so it's powered by a bunch of solar panels and that one, I'm not going to do it myself. Um, there's a bunch of companies uh, like Solar, Solar City, and uh, Sungevity, um, both companies which you know they'll install the uh, solar panels for you. So I'm going to look into that, and I'll have a like a review of it once I've got it installed. Um, but I've did all the math, and even if I do install it for like fifteen thousand um, dollars, you get a lot of credits back from the federal government, uh, tax credits, and also. Uh, basically, I'm gonna, you know, I'm paying about $120 a month in like electricity. It'll cut it almost to 90%. So definitely, that's my next thing. Anyway, I just want to share share this with you. Um, if you have a little, you know, uh, like a cabin, you know, that's not powered at all, and you're still using, you know, electricity off the grid, um, definitely you can set up a simple system like this. Um, you know, you can get like one battery, or if you need more power, you can always just get. Uh, more batteries put it in series or not series uh, in parallel uh, and also gets more solar panels if you know you need more charging um, definitely you know a great way to power uh, like a you know like a tent like this or you know your outdoor lights uh, or even you can even hook up your inverter um, and power your smartphones uh, or your laptops your computers uh, and if you have like a bank of like you know 10 big ass batteries um, you could even probably power like a whole air conditioning for a whole day uh, or even, even a heater uh, for like a whole night. Um, so definitely a great way to um, have fun on your spare time. So definitely if you have any questions, don't forget to leave it in the comment section below and hit that like, uh, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys soon.